to the latest on the Key Bridge collapse in Baltimore, starting with a live look from Baltimore. You can see that ship still there. You can see the, the, what's left of the bridge. And today the NTSB will be interviewing the two pilots of the cargo ship that crashed into the bridge. Divers have now recovered the bodies of two of the workers, four still missing this morning. ABC's Perry Russom reports. We're now moving from a recovery mode to a salvage operation. Maryland State Police say the divers have to wait for the rubble to be cleared before they can find the missing. The area they're trying to get to is fully enclosed by concrete and metal. Yesterday, divers recovering the bodies of Alejandro Hernandez Fuentes and Dorleon Cabrera. Divers located a red pickup truck submerged in approximately 25 feet of water. Divers recovered two victims of this tragedy trapped within the vehicle. Among the four still missing and presumed dead, are Miguel Luna from El Salvador, a father of three, and Minor Suazo Sandoval from Honduras, a father of two. Minor and Miguel are just two stories, two specific examples of thousands of thousands of Baltimoreans that are making a contribution to this beautiful country. The NTSB says new information from a data recorder on Dolly shows at 126 in the morning, the pilot calls for tugboats. At 127, the pilot reports they lost all power and are getting close to the bridge. 129, sounds can be heard consistent with the collision. New video shows how crucial that communication was. Traffic cleared from the bridge just moments before Dolly comes into view. Is it clear what's in the cargo on that ship? We do have the manifest of the ship. Uh, I have not reviewed it, but uh, we do have the manifest and we know that DOT's a hazmat team is also on scene. The Coast Guard says 56 cargo containers on board have hazardous materials. Even though they're hazardous, um, we, we've determined that there really isn't any kind of threat to the public. The port of Baltimore is still closed, cutting off a major shipping hub. How fast do you want to see this port reopened? I, I, I want it open now. You know, we're going to put every effort to to make sure that this gets done. But the thing that I know is this, uh, it's, it's a complicated mission. Perry Russell, ABC News, Baltimore. The NTSB says the design of the bridge is what they call fracture critical, meaning that when one part of the bridge goes out, the entire bridge goes out. More than 17,000 bridges are like that in this country.